into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? It's not far. Go on. Look up. Just up there. Listen to us. Is it? Shall we tell her where to go? Hmm. Shall we? Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a good girl, isn't she? I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. You are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you save Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Your sword is useless here. To do. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say that I'm already dead. No, and they won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't do you to them. see them? Do you see their faces? She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. 
and the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father. No, it's not. Zinbel. She hasn't got much time. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now. It doesn't. She realized that only she could see them. Her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. She'll have to go under. She can't. She has to. She can't. The torch will go out. Don't. Not the torch. Go out. There's light in the distance. She has she to can go do it. it. She can't do it. Go. The light has gone out. Run! Run! Get 
through it as quick as you can. The panic is here. What was that? Run, 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 She escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here.
The beast is down there. No. No. She knows the beast is down there. He's always Where are you watching you. He's there. You're never safe from him. You can feel him. Be careful. She needs to find it. Where is it? She needs to lost it and she has to find it. Where is it? Is it really the torch alight? She'll die. She'll die. She'll die. 
She has to. And she'll die. <laughs> the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rhea would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rayan reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rayan go in search of Fafner. Fafner is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit, and Fafner sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure.
People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the guards for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the guards. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals, kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul. Even if this time, she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great that you focus your mind on this quest. time I wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to the world to trust you. 
as deep as we can go. You will not survive what is in there. I know. What else can she do? 